Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Irish judge says cannot order Facebook data probe under current EU rules. A move to recoup EU patient costs. And Big Tobacco squares up as EU rules aim to track every cigarette. European Union bans US apples for being too toxic. Plus, is obesity a disability? It's Tuesday, 1st of July. Delighted you could join us. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up, top story from our homepage. Irish judge says it cannot order Facebook data probe under current EU rules. An Irish judge said an attempt by campaigners to force an investigation into Facebook's alleged sharing of data from EU users with the US National Security Agency must fail under current EU rules. High Court Justice Gerard Hogan, who has jurisdiction because Facebook's European headquarters are based in Dublin, said an earlier decision by the country's Data Protection Commissioner to refuse to investigate would be upheld unless the European Union's Safe Harbour Agreement with the United States is overturned. Hmm. The tentacles of the state surveillance continue to extend and slither their way silently amongst the sleeping masses. Stop for a moment and think back 20 years. Ask yourself what licenses, regulations have come into your life or workplace. Employment laws, the dreaded health and safety, carbon taxes, blah, blah, blah. job certification, data laws, pony passports. The list goes on and on and on, like the manifestation of Aldous Huxley's brave new world. But why and under whose authority? Governance of the people by the people is almost a thousand-year-old law, enshrined in Magna Carta on June 15, 1215, and further supported by the Bill of Rights of 1689. Understand that you, yes, you, do not have to submit to this oppression. There is no politician at home or abroad that has the right to remove and restrict your freedom. The people of Britain broke from serfdom with the signing of Magna Carta in 1215, do not let the unelected EU kleptocrats return you to it. Move to recoup EU patient costs. New financial incentives are to be used to encourage NHS trusts to report treatment of EU nationals as part of a drive to recoup up to £500 million a year from overseas patients. Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt announced that trusts will be offered a premium of 25% on top of the tariff which they receive for providing treatment if they report that it was given to a citizen of one of the 27 other EU member states. The attack on the NHS continues and this article has a lot of detail. The narrative is always the same, one of critical analysis. Now, whilst at the same time the NHS is being starved of funding, the assault on the NHS is a key piece in the takeover agenda. They want it privatised. Combine two things in your mind, an overstretched, underfunded NHS and massive immigration. What do you think will happen to our healthcare institutions? Big Tobacco squares up as EU rules aim to track every cigarette. It takes a British-American tobacco factory machine three minutes to load four million cigarettes onto a truck in northern Bavaria. But it can take a lot longer to figure out whether those cigarettes end up where they should. The legislation, which takes effect over the next two years, is part of a package that also slaps no-holds-barred pictures of the health effects of smoking on packets and bans menthol cigarettes. Now, whatever your thoughts on the prohibition of tobacco, it strikes me as odd that the only policy influencers are the tobacco industry, and how convenient that the replacement e-cigarette is to be regulated as a medical device, to which the monopoly over supply has been handed via EU regulation and directive to the tobacco industry. Oh, the slippery plutocrats need to sharpen their pencils if they want to outwit the team here at the unit. European Union bans US apples for being too toxic. 
It's a sad day when one of the biggest superpowers can't even export a quintessentially American food to another country because it's too toxic to eat. It was American Johnny Appleseed who introduced apple trees to large parts of Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana and Illinois, as well as the northern counties of present-day West Virginia in the 1800s. But apples treated with DPA, a substance which keeps them from turning brown for months at a time when they are kept in storage. Hmm. But DPA isn't harmful all by itself, but it breaks down into carcinogenic elements. It's been used since 1962, but was banned in the European Union in 2012, since producers couldn't answer inquiries about its safety. Is obesity a disability? Can employers legally discriminate against the obese? That's the question currently before the top court in the European Union. Now, at the heart of the issue is whether obesity is to be considered a disability under the EU's Employment Equality Directive, which protects people against employment discrimination based on religion, sexual orientation, age or disability status. The case comes to the European Court of Justice from Denmark, where a £350 child caretaker, Karsten Kaltoff, says he was fired from his position for being too fat. So, the top articles from our legislation research team, protective measures against pests of plants, and the 2012 discharge of European Medicines Agency, and the 2012 discharge of the European Training Foundation. Now, don't forget to check in the pipeline our section of the website for upcoming potential legislation as well. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit, Nightly News. I'll see you soon.